My name is John Kennedy. I'm a United States Senator, though I have tried to rise above it. Last year, I spoke to you about what I believe. Today, I want to talk to you about truth. The unadorned, unvarnished truth. The truth is important. Without the truth, we cannot order society. Without the truth, we cannot survive as human beings. And without the truth, we certainly cannot thrive as human beings. Can you handle the truth? I think you can. The truth is that it is important to speak your mind. So I do. Now, that makes some people mad. But I try not to worry too much about what anyone thinks of me. Except dogs. I really like dogs. And sometimes my friends will ask me, they say, Kennedy, how do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night knowing that some people don't like you? And I tell them, with the fan on. <laughs> because I think I make the right people mad. What else is the truth? The truth is that God is great, beer is good, and, and the United States of America is star-spangled awesome. Now look, America is not perfect, but we are good. And I cannot imagine what the world would be like without our country. The truth is that common sense is illegal in Washington, D.C. I know. I've seen it firsthand. I wonder some, sometimes how some people in Washington, D.C. actually made it through the birth canal. <laughs> the truth is that we are going to have to get some new conspiracy theories because all the old ones came true. The truth is that Americans aren't perfect, we're not, but the other side is crazy. Now, Americans do not deserve to be governed by deeply weird, nauseously woke people who hate George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, Dr. Zeus, and Mr. Potato Head who hyperventilate on their yoga mats if you use the wrong pronoun, who think kids should be able to change their gender at recess, who carry around Ziploc bags of kale to give them energy, and who think they are better than us. By the way, to me, Kale tastes like I'd rather be fat. <laughs> the truth is that what we accomplished when Republicans were in charge made our country better and made your lives better. Think about it. In four years, we cut taxes, increased wages, delivered 3.5% unemployment, created 8 million new jobs, deregulated the economy, controlled inflation, protected life, secured the border, put criminals in jail, we beat back ISIS, we strengthened the military, we stood up to Russia and China, and we confirmed 234 conservative federal judges, including three new members of the United States Supreme Court.
and by God, we can do it again. Now listen to me carefully on this. The truth is, I do not hate anyone. I do not hate anyone. I look for grace wherever I can find it. So I say this gently. The Biden administration sucks. <laughs> you measure it any way you want. COVID, the economy, inflation, the national debt, the border, crime, cancel culture, treating parents like domestic terrorists. Afghanistan, our energy independence, now lost. My God. President Biden has been spectacularly awful. If you put President Biden in charge of the Sahara Desert, he would run out of sand. If the aliens landed in Washington, D.C. tomorrow and said, take me to your leader, it would be embarrassing. <laughs> the truth is that the best social program is a job. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes the best way to get back on your feet is to get off your ass. The truth is, the truth is that if you worked hard and earned it, you should get to keep most of it. Why? Because you earned it. Congress, look, Congress does not run deficits because it taxes too little. Congress runs deficits because it spends too much. The truth is, the truth is that all life is precious. All life. And shame on those who celebrate, actually celebrate abortion. The truth is that the Republican Party, I'm very proud of this, is the party of parents. Because we understand, we understand that if you don't love your children, your children won't stop loving you. Your children will stop loving themselves. The truth is that we should have an election day, not an election month. The truth is that illegal immigration is illegal. Duh! Now, unless you peaked in high school, you know that. Why does the President Biden? The truth is that if gun control laws worked, Chicago would be Mayberry. <laughs> Instead, it is the world's largest outdoor shooting range. The truth is that America was founded on the principle of free will and responsibility. And I believe in that. Many in Washington do not. Many in Washington actually think that cops are a bigger problem than criminals. They think that if a cop shoots a criminal, it's always the cop's fault. But if a criminal shoots a cop, it's always the gun's fault. The truth is, the truth is that, that race should not be used to hurt a person or to help a person. You know why? Because the truth is also that souls have no color. The truth is that to a bear, we all taste like chicken. <laughs> well, let me say a word about China. The truth is that the Chinese Communist Party is a bunch of gangsters. They are. They're pirates. I would not turn my back on President Xi 
if he were two days dead. <laughs> but there is a corollary to that truth. And the corollary to that truth is that we must be armed if we want peace. Because appeasing a tyrant is like trying to hand feed a shark. And as I told you last year, it was true then, and it's even more true today. The truth is that Arlington National Cemetery contains 400,000 reasons why you should stand your ass up for the national anthem. And those... And those who disagree with me can stick that up their fact checker. A final truth, a final truth, here it is. The truth is that our future can be better than our present or our past. Our future can be better than our present or our past. At some point, we have to stop regretting yesterday and start creating tomorrow. But I'm not going to bubble wrap it. No one is coming. No one is coming to save us but ourselves. You know, most countries die from suicide, not murder. If we want to keep America, we have to fight for her. Now, the Washington elites, we know them. They may call us deplorables. They may think we are not real people, but we are real people, and we need to get real mad. So join with me. Help me fight for America. Help me fight for America. We will win this fight. We will win this fight if we just remember who we are as Americans. Folks, I do not know how my story will end. I don't. But I do know this. No one will ever say, Kennedy quit. God bless.